Hello, can you hear me? Excellent. Glad to hear that. Very well, very well. Good evening. How are you today? Hey, hi, teacher. How are you doing? Very, very happy. Okay. Excellent. Glad to hear that. I'm doing great as well. Teacher, I'm yes? going to be a listener today. You're going to be what? I'm going to be a listener. Oh, okay, okay. Thank you so much for letting me know, Eduardo. Right. And let me know if you have time later to participate. Okay? Perfect. Thank you. Now we have Luis, Pablo, Imelda, Daisy, Janira, Joanna, Emerson. Welcome, Vladimir, Carol, and Eduardo. Very good, very good. Thank you, teacher. Thank you, actually. Thank you, Miss Ulimi. Thank you, good evening. So welcome again to the class. Like I said, uh, thank you for being here on time. I truly appreciate it. Right. We're going to start working today. Yesterday we worked with so and such, okay? So and such. These words, like we said, they're going to help us to, to give more emphasis, right, to the adjectives or to the nouns that we're giving, right, that we're providing. Now, I would like to know, please, if you can give me just a few examples that the, from the ones that you wrote yesterday. Javier, do you have any examples handy right now? Mm -hmm. uh, an, ex an example? Yes. Uh, yesterday class. Yes. Ah, I don't, I don't, I don't make, I, no, no, I don't know. I did, I did make the exercise number one of the, my, my term, the part number four, such is very difficult. So it's very difficult. So it's very difficult. Okay. But there you are not using so as the way we learned yesterday. Right? Remember that every time that we learn English, right? And I will say this in Spanish, right? In el inglés, cada una de nuestras palabritas tiene diferentes significados. Okay? No siempre van a tener el mismo significado. Right? Ahora, ¿qué pasa? La palabra so, ayer la vimos con un significado y un uso en específico. El significado que usted me está tratando de dar es como un coordinator, que es otro significado que no hemos visto en la clase. ¿Ok? Entonces, trate de pensar en, un, en uno de los ejemplos con base en lo que vimos ayer. Primero vamos, no vamos a tratar de ver inglés, que voy a decir, por ejemplo... Eh, voy a ver esta palabra y voy a ver todas las funciones. Es mentira. Aprendámonos algo poco a poco. Así vamos a ir evolucionando. Poquito a poco. Si no, se van a frustrar rápido. Luis, deme un ejemplo de los que hicieron ayer. Con la estructura que vimos ayer, mejor dicho. I has, I has feeling so important. Important. I has meeting. I has meeting so important. I have an important meeting. Okay. Write it in the chat, please. Put it in the chat. Luis. Adalberto, tell me another example. And then you email that because I see your microphone open. Adalberto, give me an example. Uh, okay. Um, my youngest daughter is so creative. My youngest daughter is so creative. Very good, Adalberto. Excellent. Uh, Very good. Creative. 
creative. Creative, okay. excellent, very good. Imelda. Yes. Uh, the secretary is such beautiful woman. The secretary is such a beautiful woman. Such beautiful Man. woman. Such. Mm -hmm. Such. Because oh. a woman is a noun. Remember that. Right? Woman is a noun. Such a beautiful woman. Now, let's see. Uh, 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 da, 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 da. Janira, give us an example. Janira. Oh, Janira. No, she's not there. Let's see. Okay, I have. Your car was so slow in the comp in the in the competition. Competition. Okay. In the meantime, Emerson, give us an example. Yes, Miss. She she was so happy. She was. She was so happy. She was so happy. Very good. Very good. I. Okay, Javier, remember, I have, you have, they have, we have. Carol has, Pablo has, my dog has. There's a difference, right? So I have, uh, but what do you want to say here? ¿Qué, qué, ¿De qué estamos hablando, pa, eh, Luis? Luis Javier? The soy such. Uh -huh. Yes, okay, How very good. Use the such. <laughs> but your no, example. I took a confusion the the has con el was. Sorry. Okay, so I was. Uh, con, con el how, pero en pasado. Entonces, tengo que usar el view. Ah. Tuve un problema. Problemito. O sea, yo, yo quise poner yo tuve una, una reunión. I una had. Reunión importante. An important meaning. Okay, I had such an important meeting. Such an important meeting. I had such an important meeting. Here we are. Thank you, Javier. Okay, now we're gonna continue here with our class. Like we said, we have been working with so and such and vocabulary, right? Remember that we are going to start almost the last unit, right? So we need to be very careful with this. So today I would like to start, right? What with a conversation practice, right? This is a conversation on page 41, page 41. Let me show you my computer. Can you see the book right now? The conversation? Yes, miss. Excellent. Yes, miss. This is on page 41, right? Page 41. So we have Hugo and Milton, right? Hugo and Milton. So Listen to me, and after that, you're going to participate, right? I will have two people. Hugo is going to be uh, Javier, and Milton is going to be Joanna. Okay? So, let's see. Listen. The sales were not so good this month. Therefore, increasing our sales is our target this month. Do you have any idea about what to do? Sure. First, analyzing and keeping track on the incomes and outcomes have to be mandatory on each cell. That's a good idea. Also, 
I'm interested in buying raw materials. So we say more money. However, I prefer getting a bank loan for that. But I know that we can pay it with the incomes we get. I'm concerned about asking for money, but let's try it out. Okay, let's start please. So we go with this conversation. The sales were not so good this month. Therefore, increasing our sales is our target this month. Do you have any idea about what to do? Sure. First, analyzing and keeping track on the incomes and outcomes have to be mandatory on each sale. That's a good idea. Also, I am interested in buying raw materials so we sell more money. However, I prefer getting a bank loan for that, but I know that we can pay it with the incomes we get. I concerned about asking for money, but let's try try it up. Thank you so much, Javier. Thank you, Joanna. Go, you're going to be Hugo, Imelda, you're going to be Milton. Eh, Emerson. Bueno, pues, llego ahí. Vaya, gracias. Uh -huh. eh, the sales were not so good this month before increasing world sales is world starting this month. Do you have any eat? idea about the what to do? Sure. First, uh, analyzing and keeping that on the count of outcome had to be mandatory on each shell. That's a good idea. Uh, also, I am interested in the buying raw materials, so we save more money. Well, whatever I prefer, prefer it during a bank loan for that both I can that we can pay in which the income we get. I am considered about the asking for the money, but let's try it, try it out. Okay, perfect. Thank you so much. Right, thank you. Now, we can see here, right, conversation about two guys, right, Hugo and Milton, right, and they are going to analyze some of the income. So we're based on this conversation. We're going to practice, but first I need you to help me with some pronunciation here that is a little bit difficult, okay? Okay. Now, uh, can you help me out with this pronunciation, uh, Joanna? Please. Increasing. 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 Target. 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 Analyzing. Analyzing. Incomes. 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 Mandatory. Mandatory. Interested. Interested. Raw. Raw. Let's try it out. Let's try it out. Let's try it out. Let's try it out. Very good. One more time. Let's try it out. Let's try it out. 
Very good. Thank you, Joanna. Thank you for your help. So that would be the pronunciation that we're going to give to those words, right? Very good. Now, we're going to continue here. And we have three questions that we're going to answer based on the conversation. Now, Carol, can you read question one? Adalberto, question two. Eugenia, question three, please. Only read. Number one, what is their objective this month? Mm -hmm. What are some steps they want to follow? What is one of them worried about? Okay, very good. So based on that conversation, right, we are going to answer right now, right, the information for this. Right, so let's start. Let's start, please, so we can continue. Right, let's start. Answer these questions individually. Did you finish? Let me know whenever you're ready so we can start working. Ready to answer? No?
Let me know whenever you're ready. Finish, Miss. Finish, Emerson, very good. What about the others? Okay, perfect. So let's start sharing here, right? What happened here? Give me a moment. My computer got crazy. Okay, there we are. So what is the, their objective this month? What is the objective in this month? It's increase our sales. Yes, increasing our sales is our target this month. Very good. Increasing their sales. Perfect. Thank you so much. What are some steps they want to follow? Mm -hmm. First, analyzing and keeping track. Emerson again? First, analyzing and keeping track on okay. the increasing in outcomes. Okay, very good. Analyzing and keeping track of the incomes and outcomes, right? Or the cash flow. What is one, what is one of them worried about? Mm -hmm. One of them is worried. Like, oh my God, I don't know what to do, right? One of them is worried. Why is that person worried? The money. The money, okay, very good. It's worried about the money, about the money. Very good, excellent, excellent answers, very good. Now, I want you to pay attention right now to these words that are in ING form, right? Because we're going to work with them right now and they are called germs, okay? They are called Gerunds. And what does a gerund do? A gerund pretty much has three purposes in a sentence, which is crazy, right? It has three things to do. Now, you know that in the sentence, we have a subject, we have a verb, and we have a complement, right? Yesterday, oof, we talked about that. Just give me a moment. Again, this is my... There you are, okay. So, let me put it here. I need you to please pay attention. This is pretty easy, right? And this would be something that you say, oh my God, Sylvia. This is, oof, so, so very easy. So, this is gerunds. First thing that we need to remember about gerunds is that they are not, listen to me, they are not present progressive, okay? Right? So please make sure, right, that you make the difference between the gerunds and between the present progressive, right? You already know present progressive, right? So in this case, right, we're going to work right now and we're going to uh, pretty much uh, express, right? What a gerund is. Let me put here the definition because here, right? We don't have a definition. Right, let me put it here. I'm gonna put it up. Da, 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 da. Function, right? Alexander, can you please read this function of a gerund? Okay. A gerund is a verb form that ends in ing and is used as a noun, walking, traveling, walking, and 
infinitive is the base form of a verb process by to, to walk, to travel, to walk. Germs are infinitives can function as the subject of a sentence or the object of a verb. Very good. In this case, we're going to focus ourselves on the gerund forms, right? Because there are two gerunds and there are infinitives. Usually we teach them at the same time. Today we're gonna teach them separately, right? But then a gerund is a form that ends in ing. Okay, it ends in ing. That's something that we're not going to forget. Right. These are examples, walking, traveling, voting, analyzing, increasing, keeping, okay? Now, usually we use the gerunds as subjects, right? Usually we use them as subjects. So let me put it here. Just give me a moment. I have some, what is this? No, no. Give me a moment. Right, they can be used as a subject. Let me put it here. There we are. Can you read this part, Bernardo? They can be used as a subject of the sentence. Mm -hmm. Example, eating healthier makes you feel strong. Eating healthier makes you feel stronger. Thank you so much. I right, said so that's one of the forms, right? As a subject. Now, we're going to use, of course, right? The general subject, but sometimes we're going to use them as objects of the sentence, as objects of the sentence. So when we use them as the subject, we can have another example here. And remember, this is not present progressive, right? Can you read this example, Carol? Letter B. It can be used. It can be used as as a subject of the of the, of the sentence. Example: Diana has participated. Winning signs in nine 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 five. Mm -hmm. Since nineteen ninety five, right? Since nineteen ninety five. Very good. Now we have some idiomatic expressions that are also important with germs, right? Can you please read letter C, Emerson? They can use it with the verb go in the many idiomatic expressions. Go boating, go camping, go fishing, go hunting, go shopping, go skiing, go swimming. Very good. Thank you so much. So I, I don't say, have you heard sometimes our classmates say, I, I will go to shopping or I will go to the shopping. No. I will go shopping. Go shopping is the phrase that we use. So those phrases, we do not change them. They are like that all the time, right? In English, this, those phrases are when we say volado in Spanish. We don't change it, right? No sabemos por qué lo decimos así, pero así lo decimos, right? So it's the same thing. And we go with the last option that we have that's important with gerunds, right? Let me put here some examples for this. Sorry, Emerson, I will have you 
Reading again. Can you read these two sentences? Okay, miss. I go skiing every evening. My family and I go camping every December. Okay, every December, skiing. Repeat, skiing. Skiing. Very good. And now we also make sure that we're going to pay attention to the gerunds in this form, right? Can you read letter D, Joanna, if you don't mind? Oh, to make negative sentence and not before the gerund and not paying your bills on time can get you a late fee. Very good, thank you so much. So here we have the gerunds as a subject, right? Eating healthier. Sylvia, and what is the verb? What is the verb here? The verb is makes, right? And the rest is the complement, right? You feel strong. We have eating healthier is going to be our verb. Sylvia, but that is not a person. Yeah, it's not, but it's an activity that someone performs. It's not present progressive. In which tense can we see that sentence? In which tense? Is that sentence, eating healthier makes you feel stronger? Is that in past, in future, in going to? What, what, what is that sentence in? Simple present. present. Simple present, exactly, Jose, exactly, Carla. Right, it's in simple present, right? Eating healthier makes you feel strong. Now let's see the other one. Let's see the other one. In, the, in letter B, we have Diana has practiced swimming since 1995. What is the subject in that sentence? Uh -huh. Diana has practiced swimming since 1995. What is the subject? Diana. Diana. Diana, exactly. Diana. Diana is the subject. Right? I'm going to put it here. Subject. Very good. What is the verb form or the verb in the sentence? What is the verb? Practice. Huh? Practice. Has Swimming. practice. Has practice. That's the verb. Right? We have this. Right? Has practice. This is in present perfect, right? So we're gonna put here present perfect. I think you have not practiced present perfect yet. No can be so present perfect, right? Creo que van al nivel cinco. My present perfect. And then we also have swimming since 1995, right? Swimming since 1995. What is swimming since 1995? Swimming, in this case, people, right? That is going to be our gerund, right? So we put it here, right? And this is our gerund form. This is a gerund that is considered an object, right? Object, right? But it's also gerund. Gerund as an object, right? We got it there. Very simple. Do you remember that yesterday we worked with uh, subject questions, right? So it's pretty much the same, right? Here we have gerund as a, as a subject, right? And over here, we have a gerund as an object. Now, why is that? Why is so different? First, here, right, we have our verb, and our gerund is before the verb. Here, we have our verb, and this is after 
the verb, right? So we're gonna put it here. Just give me a moment. We're gonna put here also only as a verb, not present perfect. We know that that's the tense, right? But we're gonna leave it like that, verb. Now, do you understand those two examples right now? Yes, no? Let's make examples, right? Now, these other two, before we continue, these other two, they are for us, for us not to forget that we have idiomatic expressions. So those are phrases that we are not going to change. We're gonna leave it like that. Right. And also we need to remember that we're going to put not before the gerund just to make it negative. We don't use anything else, just the word not. Now, let me show you here another example. Give me a moment. I'm gonna show you. Teacher. Here. Yes? Did you pass a ten now? <gasps> no, thank you. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Se me va la fiscucha. Vean, no, vean ustedes la imagen acá en lo que yo paso tenis, ¿ok? Así me hacen preguntas. Give me a moment. I have Carlos Vladimir Rodríguez Díaz. Present teacher. Daisy Elizabeth Recino Álvarez. Present teacher. Thank you. Eduardo Franco Núñez. Present teacher. Elena Guadalupe Andrade Reyes. Present. Emerson Ulises Monroy Calix. Present, Miss. Francisco Sánchez López. Present. Imelda Xiomara Pineda Castro. Jacqueline, Jacqueline Vanessa Parrilla García. Joana Lisbeth Eunice Alfaro de Canales. Present, Miss. José Alexander Hernández Carvajal. Present. José Bernardo López Montes. Present, teacher. Carla Eugenia Hernández Sotelo. Present, teacher. Carol Elizabeth Escalante Enríquez. Present. Luis Javier Castillo. Present. Manuel Alfredo Hernández Ventura. Oscar Noé Magaña Martínez. Sara Vigaí López Portillo. Present teacher. Tatiana Ivón Torres de Beltrán. Present Miss. Wendy Marlene Martínez Sánchez. Present. Yanira El Carmen Gutiérrez. Present teacher. Pablo Adalberto Abrego Vázquez. Present. Okay, thank you so much. Now we got there, right? We're going to work right now with gerunds as a subject, right? We're gonna see both of them. Oh, what happened? <laughs> Give me a moment. Sorry, look at that. Okay, let's go back here, right? And can you see where it says gerunds used as subjects? Can you see that on your screen? Yes, please. Yes, okay, yes, thank you. Thank you guys. Now let's go ahead and continue. Now, we already know this, right? Gerunds are verbs that add like nouns, simple. They are not ing. They are formed by adding ing to the verse. We already know that. Right? Como ya sabemos cómo hacer el progresivo, eso, hacer gerunds es lo mismo, pero no funcionan de la misma forma. Right? Now, we're going to work right now with gerunds as subjects. And we are going to see here a lot of examples. Right? Oof, here we have a lot of examples. Now, look at this. What I want you to understand is that 
when we have a gerund as a subject, it's not going to be a person. It's going to be more like a situation, an activity, right? That is the main purpose in the sentence, right? And it's, if it is a subject, of course, it comes before the verb, right? Imelda, can you read the example number one? Eating? Eating lots of vegetables in sporting for good health. Okay. Eating a lot of vegetables is important for good health. Now, what is the verb uh, here, Carol, in number one? What is the verb? Eating lots of vegetables is important for good health. What's the verb? No. The verb is not at the beginning of the sentence. The only way that a verb is going to be at the beginning of the sentence is when we have imperatives. Do you remember imperatives? We say, listen, stand up, close the door. Those are imperatives, right? That's the only way. So what is going to be here? The main verb of the sentence. Who wants to help Carol? No le escucho. Hola. Yes. Ahora sí. Okay. The, the question is the verb in sentence number one. Mm -hmm. Okay. Is. Exactly. Very good. That's the verb to be. Right. Very good. So since we identify the verb, right, we say, oh, okay, this is the verb is important, right, is. Now, what is the subject? Or we say, okay, eating lots of vegetables is important for good health, right? So we have subject, verb, complement, right? This is our verb. Is that clear, guys? So it is eating lots of vegetables. Yes, ma'am. That is the subject. It's considered or is called a gerund. That's a gerund phrase, right? So all of the verbs that we have right here, right? All of these verbs, we can see a lot of verbs right here. Sleep, eat, cook, read, find, sing, et cetera, et cetera. They can be transformed into gerunds. So I can say sleeping, eating, cooking, reading, finding, singing, et cetera, et cetera, and make my sentences here, right? To make uh, these uh, gerunds and word them as a subject, right? Or use them as a subject. Let's go ahead and try, right? I need you to please. Can you see right now the computer? Just like it is? Yes? Yes. Okay, yes. perfect. Now, I know this is going to be a little bit difficult. Right now, we're just working with gerunds as subjects. Only that. Okay? Gerunds as subjects. And this is a practice for you to have more examples. Right? For you to have more examples. So what are we going to do? We're going to get in groups. Okay? And we're going to put everything together. Ya vi que algunos ya están ahí viendo cuál es cuál. Okay? So we're gonna put them right now in groups, just making sure that you're going to have it. Can you please take a screenshot for me and send it to the group? Since I don't have WhatsApp on my phone. Okay. Se pudieron tomar el screenshot. Yes. Okay. Thank you, Vladimir. You're so kind. You're so kind. Okay. 
now let's go ahead and work right now <laughs> que mi amor 50 grupos no si apenas estamos 18 ok six groups we're gonna make six groups right now just making sure Emerson, Sara, Tatiana. ¿Estamos participando, Sara y Tatiana? Yes, ready. Ok. Carlos. No, ok, entonces acá de oyente con ellos dos. Carlos, okay. Eduardo y Yanira. Eduardo está de oyente. Carlos, ¿estamos bien? Yanira. Uh, aún no, teacher. ¿Va a participar? Aún no. Aún no. Okay. Elena, Imelda y Wendy. ¿Van a participar, chicas? Yo de oyente. Okay, Elena, ¿y Imelda y Wendy. Imelda sí. Yo sí, sí. Yes. ¿Y Wendy y Marlene? Yes. Yes, a pues ustedes las dejo juntas ahí. Elena está de oyente. Veamos. Daisy, José, Bernardo y Carol Elizabeth, estamos bien. Joana, Luis y Pablo, ¿estamos bien? Francisco. Sorry, ¿Qué? ¿Por qué me dice sorry? Hola, ¿Qué? hola. Ajá. Hola, hola, hola. Hola, Franco. Joana, Luis y Pablo, ¿estamos bien? Estoy Franco. solo aquí. <ríe> no, está con nosotros ahorita, no se preocupe. No escucho, no escucho, no, no escucho nada. Francisco, José y Carla right? Vamos Ahí va con su grupo eh, Fran Franco, dele click Vamos Just find the verbs Traten de encontrar los verbos Yo sé que son bastantes, pero tenemos que encontrar por lo menos 10 Ok, let's go let's Try to find at least T 10, 10, 10, 10 Tatiana, ¿por qué está aquí? Hola, me sacó el internet. Vaya para el 1 ahorita, ya la mandé. Carlos Vladimir, solo usted está, ¿verdad? Creo que lo voy a mover entonces sí, porque Franco sí, está de oyente. Tiene razón, sí, Franco. Sí. Permítame un segundito. Va de acuerdo. Vamos a mover a Franco con... Ajá. Ok. A Carlos Vladimir, le vamos a mover, Carlos, con otro grupo. Permítame un momento. Ok, Carlos. Un grupo 6. Y Yanira se ve de oyente al grupo 3. Vámonos. Se coloca eso. Vale. Eh, número dos. No sé qué creería usted si es fan. 
En la número dos dice a parking space is difficult in the mornings. Um, Me dijo, perdón. Eh, dry. No, porque está hablando de un parque. Par ah, parqueo. parqueo es. Dice que es, es, es encontrar. Yo, yo creería que dice encontrar parqueo. Un lugar de en la parqueo. mañana. Es difícil en la mañana. El verbo ah, buscar, pero... encontrar es fun. Encontrar es, ajá, es. es. No me acuerdo si se dobla la D o solo se le agrega el I en G. Eh, agregaría I en no, no, G. ¿Mm? Ajá. The word is great. Vamos a poner en rojo. Vaya. Um, the number three. To work is a great way to get some service. From small to cycle air fly, trying to chop swing watch to pick his sleep. Caminar hacia el trabajo es un buen ejercicio. Sí, eso Entonces, había visto. Sería esta boca. Sleep eight could read from sink, smoke, talk, cycle, and fly, drive. No está caminar. Uh -huh. No, no está pero ahí ya dice eh, caminar. No, no dice camina. ¿Qué significa guay? Guay es forma de ir o caminar o este, dirigirse. Uh -huh. no, es dirigirse, pero no es caminar, no es el verbo caminar. Al trabajo. Es, eh, Sería el trabajo es grandioso. Tomar algunos ejercicios. Creería yo que es, es cycling. Cycling to work is a great Ajá. way. Es una manera. Es una manera de hacer ejercicio. Uh -huh. Creería yo que sería cycling. Sí. Cycling. En vez de eh, cambiar la E por ING. Sleeping. 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 Cigarettes is very bad. Washing. Smoking. Uh, ah, ah, mm -hmm. smoking. Smoking. Night is washing. Hmm? Watching. Watching TV is bad for my. Uh -huh. Fast. Fast. About other people and cultures is fascinating.
learning. Learning uh -huh. about other people and cultures is fascinating. Learn. Okay. Learning. Sing, is my sing, sister's sing, favorite is, hobby. Sing, 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 singing, 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 Drink, dry, uh, drinking, and driving. Drinking, driving. Drinking and driving. Drinking. Driving. It's a serious crime. It's boring. I hate shopping malls. Shopping también. Shopping. Como cantar es Ajá. El favorito de mi hermana. Ella tiene una gran voz. En la onda salía así. Signi. Ajá. Vamos a ver. La dos. ¡Wow! Bueno, yo pensé que no la estaba viendo. Ahí está. Ajá. Ahí está. Es que quiero ver el 12 dice que es una serie de crímenes. Una serie de crímenes. ¿Cuál es esa? La 12. La 13 es... Yo a la a la a la tres no le he sentido. La tres. Ajá. Dice. Trabajar es una manera de hacer algo de ejercicio. Ajá, de hacer algo de ejercicio. Pero dice al trabajo. Ajá, al trabajo. Sí, sí, que es, es, es círculo, ¿qué? ¿Cuál? Cicle, cicle. No cicle. sé. Espera, me quiero ver. Ciclo. Ciclo. Es ciclo. Espera, ah. vamos a ir viendo aquí, tal vez le hayamos sentido. Sleep. En la actividad de que todos los animales hacen, however, como siempre, tú conoces, ah, en las siete es sleeping. ¿Las siete? Sí. Las siete es sleeping. Sleeping es una actividad que todos los animales hacen. However, did you know that cats sleep for two years? ¿Qué sería dormir? Ajá. Sí. Sí. Mire esta, la, la 12. Ajá. Es, es la Dream Drive. Dream Drive. Sí. Beber uh -huh. y conducir es un delito grave. Ah, ya. Yeah. Entonces sería sí, drinking. 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 Uh -huh. 
Sí, driving. Driving. Ya le vamos a llamar. Ajá. Eh, la 13 sería shop. Shopping. Comprar es aburrido. Yo odio comprar. Yo odio comprar en los malls, algo así. La 13. Es aburrido, aburrido. Ajá. Shopping is boring. Dice. La 14 es después de la smoking tal, talking, hablando. La 14. No es permitido durante el examen, talking sería. Ah, uh, sí, 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 Dice, creo que quiere decir, no está permitido durante, hablar, no está permitido. Ajá. Uh -huh. Ajá, no, no. La, la 15 makes me. Eh, eh, y la, y la, do, la 3 no la tenemos, ¿verdad? Ni ah, la 13, la, ¿verdad? no, la 15 es flying. Flying. ¿Quiere decir flying? Es volar. Ahí ah, dice, sí. volar me hace nervioso. Me pone nervioso. Ajá. Ajá. Y, la, y la 13 la tenemos, la 13. Busquemos la que nos sobra. Nos sobra ciclo. Ah, pues entonces esa sería. La 13. Sí, la 13. La 3. Ciclo al trabajo es una gran manera de hacer algo de ejercicio. Veamos. Pongámosla ahí. Pero de ahí todas las demás las tenemos bien. ¿La 13 cuál es? es? La 13. La 13 es trece. Trece shopping. 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 Uh -huh. Ok, so let's check what you have there. Right? I know that some of you didn't finish. That's okay. We're going to continue working, right? With the examples that you have. Let's check. One moment. I think you can see it, right? Now, let's start here. We'll go with number two, Alexander. Finding a parking space is difficult in the mornings. Okay. Finding a parking space is difficult in the morning. Very good. Now, remember that we are using capital letter because it's the beginning of that sentence, right? Very good. Uh, Carol, number three. Number two. Uh, cycling, to, cycling to work is great while to get some exercise. Okay. Cycling. Number four, Bernardo. Reading books and magazines can help you to learn English. Okay, thank you so much. Now continue there. Let's see, Javier, number five. Number five, cooking is fun. I love making dinner for my friends. Okay, thank you. Daisy, number six. Swimming is a great way to get fit 
but I'm afraid of the water. Okay, <laughs> me too. Carla Eugenia, number seven. Sleeping is an activity that as animal that cats sleep for two years of their lives. Okay, thank you. Joanna, number eight. Smoking cigarettes is very bad for your health. Thank you. Imelda, number nine. Eh, what? Watching TV is bad for me. Eh? That was mother side. My, my eyes. My eyes. Mm -hmm. Number 10, Adalberto. Learning. About the other people and cultures is fascinating. 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 Yes. Emerson, fascinating. number 11. Singing is my sister's favorite hobby. She has a great voice. Very good. Singing. Very good. It's my sister's favorite hobby. Carlos Vladimir, number 12. Drinking and driving is a serious crime. 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 Drinking and driving. If you have it, driving and drinking, same. Okay. Same. Drinking and driving is a serious crime. Sounds very important. Not to do. Sara, number thirteen. Shopping is boring. I hate shopping malls. <gasps> okay, shopping <laughs> is boring. No, it's not boring. Now, Francisca, number 14. Wendy, number 14. Talking is not allowed during the exam. Very good. Talking is not allowed during the exam. And dun, dun, dun. I think the other ones are not participating right now. Emerson, go with 15. 15. Flying makes me nervous. I prefer traveling by train. By train. Okay, very good. Excellent job. Right now. Do you understand how this, these sentences work? If you notice, all of them are singular, right? All of the sentences, all of the sentences, when we have a gerund as a subject, they are singular. Look at the verbs. Is, 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 can help, is fun. It's a great way, it's an activity, it's very bad. Is, it's fascinating, it's my sister's favorite hobby, it's a serious crime, it's boring, it's not allowed, makes me nervous, right? All of them are singular. So when you see a subject, a gerund, sorry, working as a subject, your verb must be singular, right? because that's what they do. They are situations, they are activities, right? And they are working as a subject. Do you have a question about these examples that we just made? Well, that you made the exercises? Do you have questions? Please ask questions. It's important that you ask questions. I can't emphasize that more. Please make questions. Mm -hmm. 
No questions. So everything is clear about uh, germs as subjects? You don't have questions? Can you try to give me your own examples? What could be an example that comes to your mind right now with germs as subjects? Tell me an example. Yes, Joanna, I see your microphone open. Okay, not ready. Alexander, give me an example. Uh, teacher, uh, st studying is important. Uh, I love uh, studying for my for my superation <laughs> okay very good very good look at this studying studying is important right we got it there. I love studying. Uh, for professional superación profesional, right? Yeah. No. Yes, Miss. For professional development. Development, okay, mm -hmm. for professional development. Okay, in these two sentences, we have two sentences. Studying is important, I love studying for professional development. Which one is a subject question, a subject sentence? The first. The first one, very good. In this one, right, this is, the subject, right, is studying. Very good. What about the second sentence? How do we call the second sentence, Daisy Elizabeth? What part of the sentence is the germ? Important. No. No. Important is the complement or the object of the first sentence. We're talking about sentence number two. I love studying for professional development. What is the subject, Daisy? Study. The subject? Studying? I. What, Carol? I. I. I is the subject, exactly. I is the subject. What is the verb? Studying. Studying is not the verb. What is the verb? Love. Love, exactly. Love is the verb. It is the verb. Right? That's the verb of the sentence. Right? What is the germ? Study. 
for professional development, right? Studying is the general. Remember that this goes like this. These are, they are together, right? When we are working with this, they are together because we need to complete the idea, right? It's studying for professional development. So they are kind of together. So we know that, right? We know that. But the main verb, the main gerund is studying. The main verb is love, right? Thank you, Joanna, for those examples, right? Now, can you give me another example? Uh, is that Abigail? Jern as a subject. Uh, the one subject. Jern as a subject, yes. Jern, okay. Mm -hmm. Um. Uh, running. Running, uh-huh. What is running? Is good. Uh, good for what? Uh, running is good for you. Salud. For your health. <laughs> running is good <laughs> for your health. Okay, very good. Excellent. Running is good for your health. Excellent, Sara. Now, do we have any other example, Javier? Gerund as a subject. I see that. <laughs> Don't worry, it's okay. Mm. Mm. Javier? Good morning. Okay. I'm pensando. Excellent. Ah, se lista, ¿no? No, pero más Ah? Yo no puedo ver Okay, let's have Javier thinking right now. I need you to give me your example, Carlos Vladimir. Javier, ya regresamos con usted. Playing soccer okay. is very fun. It's very Playing soccer is very fun, divertido. It's fun. very fun. Yes. Excellent. That's perfect. Thank you so much. Right. Playing soccer is very fun. Very good. Thank you so much. Are you ready now, Javier? Out. Miss uh, yes. drinking beer is bad for health. It's bad for your health. Okay, very good. That is right. Drinking beer is bad for your health. Perfect. Right. Perfect, perfect. Someone else? Bernardo, do you have an example? Jaron as a subject? Uh, yes, teacher. Mm -hmm. Walking under the rain is so relaxing. 
<laughs> it is, it is. Very good, it is. Thank you so much. And now, Carol, do you have an example, Carol? Mm -hmm. Eating snacks is relaxing. Eating snacks is relaxing. <laughs> On a Saturday night, yes, it is. <laughs> it is relaxing. Thank you so much, Carol. Very good. Okay, so we got there, right? Our examples, right? For, uh, for this, right? For gerunds as subjects. Now let's work on gerunds as objects, okay? Gerunds as objects. Now we know that when we have a gerund as an object, we're going to put it after, right? After the verb. So what are we gonna do here? I want you to look at my computer, right? Just let me open here the example. And we have here gerunds, right? Gerunds here. Now we're gonna work here on these sentences. Pretty easy, right? And we're going to pay attention to these verbs, hate. Spent, stopped, started, finished, about, enjoys, right? Now, what are we going to do here? These verbs and these prepositions, right? Usually after a preposition, we're going to have a germ, right? We're gonna have a germ, for example, about. And usually after those verbs, we can put or we can write a yarn. So what do you think is going to be the first option? Number one, Carlos Vladimir, I hate. I hate being cold. I being find cold. it really depressing. Beautiful, thank you so much. I hate being cold, right? I hate being cold. That's the perfect answer. Thank you so much. Now, with the other ones, you're going to write down, right, the verbs, and you're going to make them into germs. Use the ing form, right? Let's start. We only have seven sentences. Pretty, pretty easy, right? Pretty easy. Let's do it. You can do it. Now make it bigger. Right. Read the sentences and ask me if you have questions. Uy, a Emerson y a Bernardo se le fue la luz. No, Bernardo ya está acá. ¿Y Emerson? No. Está yendo la luz bien seguida. Hay 10 profesores que no tienen luz, imagínense. Quizás viven cerca de donde ustedes.
Did you finish? Yes, Miss. Okay, thank you, Tatiana. Yes, Miss. Thank you. Let's wait for the others. I don't. Okay, let's check right now some of the answers that we got. All right, Tatiana, go with number two. You spent too much time playing video games. Okay, playing video games. Okay, thank you. Number three, who wants to do number three? Who else finished? Bernardo? We stopped talking because someone interrupted us. <laughs> okay, that usually happens. Okay, number four, eh, Sara? Number four is writing. John is celebrate because he has finished writing his book writing his book okay perfect uh, they see number five it's a certain it's no it's knowing last night while we were sleeping sleeping very good sleeping uh, Joanna, number six. And knowing how to speak English is amazing. Knowing how to speak English, that is correct. Right, knowing. Uh, number seven, Alexander. The best thing about taking the bus is that I don't need to drive. <laughs> Yeah, but in El Salvador it's difficult. Number eight, Imelda. Alex and Hot watching series in this frame in this time. Enjoys watching. Repeat, enjoys watching. Enjoy watching. Enjoys. 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 Very good. Thank you so much. So now we have here, just give me a moment. Uy, your father. Okay. We have here our examples, right? Do you have questions about this exercise? Do you understand when we put here gerund as an object? None of the gerund is Yes. And the number seven, what is the subject? The best thing. The best thing oh, no. about taking. Now, this is the subject in this one. All of this. The best thing about taking the bus, right? Now, in here, what we're paying attention to, and thank you for your question, Javier, is about. About is not a verb. About is a preposition. 
right? And we also have gerunds after prepositions that is here, right? After subject, after some verbs, after prepositions, right? And about is one of them, right? That's why we selected those phrases at the beginning, right? You see, hate, spend, stop, finish, starter, and about. Okay. Good, right? But our verb is going to be the verb to be, which is this. This is the verb. This is the verb. And these ones, the verb is pretty much this. I, I, you, we, John, it. In this case, is knowing how to speak English. That's the verb, right? And Alex. Those are the verbs. But we already know how to identify Jaren's subject. Now, in the other ones, we have gerunds as objects. Very good question, Javier. Thank you. What about the others? Do you have questions? Ask, please. Que no queden dudas. Ustedes pueden pensar que es fácil, pero si tienen la duda, es mejor preguntar, porfa. A menos que digas, sí, entiendo. That will be no worry, right? Look at this. Mientras ustedes piensan en qué me van a preguntar, yo les paso asistencia. Okay? Carlos Vladimir Rodríguez Díaz. Present. Daisy Elizabeth Recino Álvarez. Present teacher. Eduardo Franco Núñez. Elena Guadalupe Andrea de Reyes. Present. Emerson Ulises Monroy Calix. Present, Miss. Francisco Sánchez López. Present. Imelda Xiomara Pineda Castro. Present teacher. Ok, Disculpe, Eduardo. Franco, Franco. Present, present. Thank you, Eduardo. Disculpe, disculpe, que no pueden encima el teléfono. Thank you, Eduardo. I am here, teacher. Imelda, thank you. Jacqueline Vanessa Parrilla García. Joana Lisbeth Eunice Alfaro de Canales. Me, teacher. José Alexander Hernández Carvajal. Present. José Bernardo López Montes. Present, teacher. Carla Eugenia Hernández Sotelo. Present, teacher. Carol Elizabeth Escalante Enríquez. Present. Luis Javier Castillo. Present. Manuel Alfredo Hernández Ventura. Oscar Noé Magaña. Sara Vigail López Portillo. I am here, teacher. Tatiana Ivonne Torres de Beltrán. Present, Miss. Wendy Marlene Martínez Sánchez. Present. Yanira del Carmen Gutiérrez. Present. Pablo Adalberto Abrego Vázquez. Present. Excellent. Very good. Very good. Any questions right now, guys? No questions? No question. Okay. Okay, then. Okay, then. So, Teacher, yes? Eh, en el uso del gerundio eh, es aplicado en cualquier tiempo. Yes. It can be applied in any tense. For example, uh, we can say, driving, driving motorcycles will be, driving motorcycles will be forbidden in 2024. Driving motorcycles will be. Now we're just in the future, right? But we can say a smoking, a smoking cigarette was not, um, was not a crime in 1800. Was not a crime, so that will be past. Right. Very good question, Adalberto. Excellent job. You just need to make sure that when you use Jeron as a subject. Your subject is singular. That's it. Okay. Excellent. 
That's a great question. Another one? Another question? Me teacher? Yes? In the last sentences, uh -huh. last sentence, uh, I don't know how to, uh, I don't know what is the verb. In the last one, number eight. Yes. Alex. Yes. Alex, oh, uh, the Alex verb, sorry. Alex is the subject. The verb is enjoys. For example, mm -hmm. I okay. enjoy drinking coffee. Right? So after these verbs, usually we have the, uh, the germ. Right? Very good question, Bernardo. So that is the verb, enjoy. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, now we're going to keep on working with the other part. Remember the book is asking us as a subject. We already know that as a subject. After some verbs, this is object. And now we'll go with prepositions, right? So we're gonna work with that here in the book, right? So what are we doing? We're going to match the sentence beginnings with the endings, okay? With the endings. For example, we have number one, do you ever dream of, and the answer is C. Oh, meeting your favorite singer? Yes, I dream of meeting Bruno Mars. I dream of meeting Bruno Mars. These words of, in, without, at, by, and to, those are prepositions. Do you remember prepositions from uh, model one? in, on, at, about. Do you remember those prepositions? Yes? Okay. Yes. If you do, yes. perfect, perfect, perfect. Right, now, what we're gonna do is to match the first part. Do you ever dream of meeting your favorite singer? Very good, so we got the first one, right? Meeting your favorite singer, right? Now, we're gonna do, are you interested in, please don't live without, Fatima is good at, we ended our party full of guesses by, I'm really looking forward to. Those are the sentences that you're going to match. Let's do it individually. This one is going to be individual work, individually. Let's start.
Let me know if you have questions or if you don't understand the sentences. Great teacher. Okay, thank you, Elizabeth. Okay, let's check the answers. Are you ready, guys? Yes, okay, Javier, eh, Javier. Jose, Jose says yes. Jose, go ahead, tell me about number two. <clears throat> number two, uh, are you interested in doing some part-time job? Okay, are you interested in doing some part-time job? We have letter A. Okay, now number three, you choose another person, Jose. Um, Jose Bernardo. Jose Bernardo, the Jose says, okay. Go, Jose. Um, number three. Please mm -hmm. don't live without. Saying, saying goodbye to me. Excellent. Don't leave without saying goodbye to me, guys. Very good. Who is next, Jose? Carol. Carol. Number four. Fatima. Fatima is cool at. Um, parking her father's car. Okay, good, 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 good. Letter F. Now, number five, who is next, Carol? Tatiana. Tatiana, number five. Tatiana. T-A-T-I-A-N, Tatiana? Nope, no. Okay, no está. Let's continue with Daisy. Daisy, number five. We ended. Or party full of guests. Lealo todo, lealo todo, lealo todo. We ended. We ended our party full of guests by um, talking everybody for coming. Okay, very good. Repeat with me, thanking. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank, no. Thank. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Thanking. Thanking. Excellent. Very good. And the last one, Adalberto. Um, no sé si será correcto I am really looking forward to drive driving drive driving 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 no, drive drive
no. No, porque no está esa no. opción. Sí, sí, sí. sí. <ríe> ¿Ok? Seeing you tonight. Seeing you tonight, yes. Seeing you tonight. Seeing you tonight. Ok. <ríe> Very good. I'm looking, I'm really looking forward to seeing you tonight. Right? Very good. Right. Now, we understand here that when we have a preposition, right, and we have an activity after, that activity must be a gerund, right? Must be a gerund. Do you understand this exercise? Please let me know. Yes, teacher. Okay. Yes, teacher. Very well then. Very well, we're gonna continue here, right? So we have the examples here on our book as well. Now we have a small conversation to make, right? But before we do that, I would like you to, we're gonna do this exercise tomorrow. I would like you to put in the chat, everyone in the chat, one example is Jaron as a subject. Right. Number two, Jaron as object. And number three, Jaron after a preposition, which is the easiest. Right. Now, everyone is going to do that. One, two, three. Right. Jaron as a subject, Jaron as an object, and Jaron after a preposition. Let's start. Let's start. Lo bueno es que como no preguntaron, quiere decir que ya se lo pueden todo y eso va a ser <laughs> super quick. Right? Everyone, write your examples. Let's do it. Y no me pongan los mismos ejemplos que me dieron, porque me voy a acordar. Oye. Oh, yeah. I will remember, so please don't. Ya funciona igual. Ya funciona. ¿Cómo? Es que a mí no me funciona. Es que no le funciona, hija. El chat. ¡Ay! A los demás sí le funciona el chat. No, no, teacher, sorry. Eh, mi internet no me funciona. Ah, okay. <laughs> Very good. Let me see. It's complicated in the morning. So what is that? Póngale el numerito para saber cuál de las tres opciones es. Is that number one, number two, or number three? It's complicated in the morning for the traffic. Due to the traffic. Due to. Due to the traffic. Uh -huh. Ya va a llover, a tiempo terminamos la clase. 
Qué chivo. Tell me, please, if you have questions. Reading is relaxing. She can see according to time and it's uh, life teaching. The three examples are perfect, Carlos, but in number three, I do not see the preposition. Learning is very interesting. Okay. I pass. Mm. In that case, Joanna, it will be my parents had to work. Had to work. No, it's work. It's not working. I had okay. working, I had to work. Okay. Quizás, pero me quiero, ¿cuántas páginas nos quedan? Had to use time classes. Nos quedan ta, 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 como siete páginas. Estamos miércoles, jueves, viernes, lunes, faltan cinco días. Mañana les voy a enseñar infinitivos, ¿ok? Rapidito, para que después vayamos viendo ambos y no nos quedemos con esa duda. Lucrecia is, ah, that's the name of my little cousin, Lucrecia. Lucrecia is smart for learning English. For learning English. No puedo eso, teacher. Ah. Es que no estuve en el módulo uno, no, no me acuerdo. De las propositions. <laughs> José y Sara que le ayuden, ellos estuvieron conmigo. Ah, ok. <laughs> y si no le ayuda, ahí me cuenta. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> Camping in mountains is very interesting. Oh, nice, nice, nice. I love traveling. Perfectly, perfect, perfectly done. Carla is going to swimming next Sunday. Is going to swim because that is be going to, my friend. Be going to. After is future, right? So since it is future, it's going to swim, right? Next year. So we don't put there a uh, swimming. It's, it's going to swim next Sunday. She is a good driver. She is a good driver. Learning English is very easy if practice. Okay. Pepito finished her conference sharing a beautiful poem. Okay, my friend is very well. It's very good at hacking the system. Okay. Number three, Javier. My friend is very good at hacking the window system. Que windows es fácil. Talk, taking a walk, taking or talking a walk. Talking or taking, Carla Eugenia. Talking or taking. 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 A walk in the park school exercise. I love eating chocolate and candy. Matt is interested in sailing. Oof, good. After studying English, I take a break. <laughs> good, me too, Carlos. Listen to me, she helps me. I spend the weekend repairing my car. I was making dinner last night. Okay, number three, Pablo. That is past progressive. Ese es pasado progresivo. No lo hemos visto todavía. I was making. Running is relaxing. I am interested in improving myself. I am interested in... Esa, la dos es la tres, Emerson. My mother spent her life teaching. Y la tres es la dos. In improving myself. I am interested in preposition. 
in improving myself. Ese es cuál es el ejemplo que dio Joana al inicio. Ok, very well then. So we're going to work right now en despedirnos. <laughs> ya no vamos a hacer ningún ejercicio. I will see you guys tomorrow. To, today is the day for eh, Manuel Alfredo Hernández Ventura, que creo que no se presentó este día a clase, entonces queda el espacio abierto si alguien tiene alguna pregunta o alguna duda. Yo tengo dudas sobre Mitchell. ¿Tiene preguntas? Sí, sobre el Mitchell. El Mitchell, el Mitchell ya se entregó, medio. no lo hizo. Uy, se sacó cero. Ok. Eh, entonces todos los demás se pueden retirar. Yo me quedo con Luis Javier. Ok. Bye, teacher. Vamos a ver cómo le reparamos el cero que tiene ahorita, que bye, no le entregó. Bye, bye. Bye, bye teacher. Bye. Bye, Cipotes. Bye, Francisco. Bye, Daisy. Ok, cuénteme, ¿qué le pasó? ¿Por qué no entregó el examen a tiempo? Ajá. Bueno, la duda que tengo es la de la parte 4. Uh -huh. ¿Y es del midterm o del, eh, del examen 2? No, del midterm. Porque no ha entregado el midterm, el midterm se entregó la semana pasada. Ya está tardado. Este... Sí. Ajá. No, let me put it here. Ay. Que mi amor me. La parte, la parte cuatro. Ok, pero sea específico porque no le voy a dar la respuesta. Necesito que sea específico. Muéstreme si usted quiere qué es lo que ha hecho. Y yo le voy explicando ahí y vamos a ir resolviendo entre los dos. Ok. Muéstreme su pantalla del examen y vemos qué parte ha hecho. Es el de would like, ¿verdad? Ah, cabal. Uh -huh. Fíjese que en esa. Ok, muéstrame lo que tiene. Ya le voy a explicar lo que hemos visto. Cabal. And scramble. I would. Fíjese que este ya lo reportamos porque este problema la semana pasada lo tuvo el señor eh, Bernardo. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Entonces, la respuesta de la primera, lo que vamos a utilizar es la palabra would like. I would like. Póngale ahí. I would like. Uh -huh, to change this product. Vaya para abajo. Voy a enviar. Ok, now on this one, en es, esta es la que siempre nos sale mal, fíjese, porque ya la reportamos con, con la número dos, ya la reportamos con el señor Bernardo, right? Y usted, de, usted tiene, si, así como puede ver, we wouldn't like to stay in this place, right? We wouldn't like to stay in this place. We wouldn't like to stay in this place. Con punto, usted le puso punto al final, ¿verdad? No hay espacios al inicio sí. ni espacios al final. Veamos. ¿Va a ser al final de la oración? De la oración. Le va a salir mala siempre. Le muestro aquí. Mire. 
Este, como le digo, ya lo estuvimos trabajando. Aquí está. Si usted se fija, ahí. esta es la respuesta. We wouldn't like to stay in this place. Sin punto. O we wouldn't like to stay in this place con punto. Pero aún no sabemos por qué, aunque le ponemos esa respuesta, porque nosotros aquí ya le habíamos puesto esa respuesta. We wouldn't like to stay in this place. Right? Siempre nos sale mala. Veamos, quitémosle aquí este espacio que me lo dejó Bernardo. Vamos a ver. Aquí se nota. No, siempre nos da malo, mire. We wouldn't like to stay in this place. No hay puntos, no hay espacios, no hay nada de más. Entonces, ese es un error que está dando ese ejercicio 4. Ya lo reportamos, pero no sé por qué no lo han, no lo han reparado, digámoslo así. Así que esperamos sí. que lo reparen esta semana. Uh -huh. ah, okay. Uh -huh. okay. ¿Tiene alguna otra Esperamos pregunta, eso... Javier? No, no. ¿Seguro? Muchas gracias. Sí, seguro. Voy a volver a mandar ese recordatorio a ellos para que los revisen, porque ya, ya lo habíamos enviado. Ya le enseño ahí. ¿Dónde está? ¿Dónde está? Ay, por aquí está. El recordatorio, pero no, no hemos recibido respuesta, fíjense. Así que vamos a seguir esperando. Yo les aviso ahí el grupo para que nos digan si sí o si no. ¿Ok? Ok, teacher. Perfecto. Okay. Gracias, Javier. Paso buenas noches. Okay, bye bye.